and welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me. This is part of a series of videos where I'm analyzing animation from a technical perspective. In this video, I'm going to talk about consistency. By this, I mean establishing the same visual style throughout an entire animated work. And to understand consistency, let's look at an animation of a character walking. In this, we see the same drawings repeated over and over. And let's say there are 10 drawings in this sequence. Now imagine if you assigned this to 10 different fan artists and had them each take one of those drawings and draw it in their own visual style. This would be very difficult to watch because the brain would be spending all of its time differentiating between the different styles instead of realizing that it's all just one character. In a professional show, a single walk cycle like this will be animated by just one or two animators who so won't have that problem. But every shot will be handled by a different animator or set of animators. So how do you manage all of those different animators amongst all the many shots of a series? The answer is the character design. Every show will have a set of standard reference character designs that the animators must follow. This means that every animator must ignore their own personal style and follow the style of the character designs exactly. There are people on staff to check the animation for consistency and make sure it matches but they all make mistakes and of course everyone's going to be a little bit different anyway. So sometimes an animated work will have inconsistent art. This means that the characters in one sequence may look very different from the same characters in another sequence. The more inconsistent the art, the harder it is for the brain to tell you that it's seeing the same character each time. However, sometimes the staff wants to highlight a particular animator's style. Some shots will look different because that animator brings a certain vibrancy or some other element to that shot. And of course, this doesn't apply to intentional stylization changes like super deformed characters. In general, the characters should look the same from one drawing to the next, and from one shot to the next, and from one scene to the next, and from one episode to the next. If not, the art is inconsistent. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. See you next time.